What the hell? Anyway, hello one and all, this is So Hell Cut, and this is a rant video about the fucking community at the minute. It's mainly for the side people the side who can't play the game properly. As in the people who just can't be bothered to play the game. They go, I'm just gonna code in this doopy doopy doop and just play the game like that because that's how they can play because they suck at the game. Anyway, sadly I had to remove someone. I'm not gonna say any names because that's gonna be unfair. Um, he was a really nice guy, but he does all these things. He power saves. He um, does all these things. He power saves. He does custom quests. He gets all this loot, and he does another thing. I'm not sure where he like he like puts in like OP charms. That's what people have told me anyway from the group. And uh, it's I called him out on it, and he got very rude of me, and I removed him. And, but this is not just him, it's the whole community. Because some people are okay with it. And like, I read up in the group and be like, oh, it's fine. It's not hurting everybody. I go, yeah, but you're hurting the community. That sort of thing. I know it sounds really silly to say that you're hurting the community. But uh, it is. Okay? And like, I got a quote from there saying, oh, yeah, but you used to hack. You can put codes in, in single player games like GTA. Yes, that is a single player game. That is GTA. You put your code in a tank. So much fun. If you hack in an online game, that's when it starts getting very naughty. Like, you know, hacking in Call of Duty, like wall hacking, that sort of stupid stuff where you can jump through walls and shoot people without even trying on PC and Battlefield, for instance, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike, one of the great sort of like hacking sort of things there. Oh, yes, it is. And uh, same with Halo. And, and again, more Call of Duty and like oh, any sort of game people can hack in. And now Monster Hunter is getting it. It's not so much like it's unfair... Like, you know, for the player. But it's also, basically, it's that sort of like, why? Why are you doing this? Like, some people have taken so long just to get this gear and get all these items. And, you know, some people enjoy farm, some people don't enjoy farmer. But end of the day, we all have a similar goal. And that is getting the armor and weapons. That is the whole point of Monster Hunter. Hunting the big monster. Stabbing it till it stops moving. You skin it. You rinse and repeat till you get what you want. That is the game. It's a loot game, and I freaking love that sort of kind of game. And it's fun because the community is amazing. But now you have this other side of the community who can't play the game and are too lazy and just suck so much cojones because of this new method of on the computer and stuff like yes i've played some custom quests before i've done three videos on custom quests and it was so much fun i fought six brackies that like mini brackies jumping around the place two giant diahermeters and a giant massive red kezu and you know what i loved it it was so much fun to do but then i questioned the loot at the end though and the money i got the money was like max amount and i had like i got loads of divine spheres and all this pallium and all this rare crap, and all these really rare tickets. I just turned off the- after all the recording was done, I didn't save, I just turned it off. I didn't bother taking any of that stuff. And I would never take that stuff. I don't cheat in games, so like that sort of thing, because I don't cheat. Who cheats? It's- you don't do it. You really don't do it. And then, I said, with the custom quests, like, for instance, like, you know, people don't know what the problem with the custom quests are. People can get, like, the rarest stuff without even trying. For instance, my friend Grant did one, what he just recently told me. He fought a, just a normal Kezu, just normal Kezu, no, no Frenzy, no Apex, no nothing. It was normal. Died very easy. Right at the end, 50 Zenith gems. You can only get them from Apex as far as I know. And he got 50 of them. He just went, just turned it off. He doesn't loop. I'm not dealing with that. And then I had recently where this is the power saving thing where you get an account and you just buff the crap out of it with weapons and just ridiculous things. That's, that's how I think how power saves work. I'm probably going to be sort of wrong there. I don't really care, but I know what power... I, I kind of... I'm beating around the bush what power saving is. For instance, I made a lobby one time because normal was online. No subs were on. And I want to do a um, guild quest. And these guys joined. Three guys. I'm assuming they're all friends. Level 999 HR. It's possible. I've seen people with that sort of rank. Like, you got Panther for me. You've got my friend Justin. You've got some other YouTubers doing it. You know, that nice gold title above the... Like, like, nice sort of like... What is it? Like, teal? Or like, light blue title? Really nice. Really light. Nice, and good job for them, guys. But then these guys joined. And it was a big hint. They were G1. That, you know, that red G. And it wasn't even the gold crown or silver or whatever. 
What? <laughs> Seriously? I mean, why? And I looked at their weapons. Them guy had a great sword with like five, six thousand raw damage. And like two thousand, three thousand paralysis damage. And the other guy had like 20k of blast damage. I booted them straight out. Who does that? It's stupid. Oh, the monsters are too tough. I gotta kill him quickly. Get a team and get good. Simple. Get a team, get good. That's how you play the game. That is how you play Monster Hunter. Oh, another thing what I've, what I've grinded my gears about, sadly, is this... The gems! People can like code in some really ridiculous gems. Myself, I've never got any good gems. Like for instance, let's see the one I've got on the minute for me. You know, I'm just like, you know, literally boot it up on DS. Come on, doop a doop a doop. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay, no, I just minimized it when I'm doing that. But now yeah, you can code in some really ridiculous gems. I've played for nearly 400 hours playing this game. And uh, my gem is a total of. It is really bad. It is six wind resist and three mycology. I'm only using it for the three slot. That is the, probably the best one I've got, just because of the random three slot. I probably the better ones I've got there, but I'm using that because it fits in with my armor set, because you know, evade this and that sort of stuff. But then there's some people walking around with ten handicraft and ten sharpness and three slots. Oh, I picked this up. No, he, you clearly didn't. I mean, it's possible, but then I got some information about that guy who did it. And no, he, he, he put that in. Why? Why do this? I just... And I, it's literally splitting the community in half. I don't play randoms anymore because of this reason. I don't know who's hacking and not hacking. I don't know who got it legitimately and who didn't get it legitimately. It just makes me so angry and so sad that I had to remove people and get antsy because of this stupid thing because they can't just play the game properly. Oh, I'm bored. Lol. That was the comment I got and I was like, seriously? Get out. Well, there's a lot more of that. You know, got, he, got a bit, he got a bit rude. It was pretty nasty. But, um, in all side note, all right, everyone, Monster Hunter is a grind game, okay? That is how you're supposed to play the game. You find the biggest thing, you stab it, and you rinse and repeat. I probably said it before, but I'm going to say it again. And I've had amazing experiences just because of this. Like, for instance, I was trying to get my Raphalos armor. I had to farm Raphalos like 30 times. And I finally got that mantle because, you know, desire senses. You know, it knows what I want. But then I got it. And that feeling was because I... Mm, but some people go, oh my god. But end of the day... I repeated myself again, we all have a certain goal. We all are doing it for the loot. But then you get these jackasses who can't play the game properly and just stop. You're not doing anyone in a favor and it's, I'm not sure if I heard much of an ease, but I've heard a lot of like talk in the West about this and it's only going to make Capcom frown at us about it you know it's it, you know all the work that all these youtubers all these guys are doing promoting the game heck i even saw like you know a couple of years like basically like last year that monster hunter shipped over a million copies that's insane for monster hunter monster hunter 4 ultimate is the best selling pretty monster hunter game over here in the west and people are wrecking that because they can't play the game play it properly or play another game you fucking morons <laughs> It's quite that simple, really. And it's only going to make Capcom not release it over here, or maybe wait a lot later, or they can't, they're going to make it so freaking anti hacky things. It's going to be stupid. You know what I mean? It's, it's just not going to be, it's not going to end well if people keep doing this because. I've like I talked to Korgarath about this. Everyone probably knows him. Please tell me you know Korgarath. He's a, he's a wicked guy. He talks about, he's the lead guy on the wiki. And uh, he's amazing. He's he's currently streaming. A lot of people are doing Monster Hunter X, Monster Hunter Cross at the minute. Hats off to them. Pop. Hats off to the Poogie Platoon. And um, he literally said to me, just either A, warn them, or B, get rid of the people. Because you don't need them people in your community. We don't need these <laughs> fake hunters in this community. Because that's what we don't we want. We don't want these people in this community. Because they are slandering the name of hunters. You know, we are monster hunters. We're not... Some cheap knockoff of I'm gonna code in this because I'm bored hunters. So anyway, that's my rant anyway. It's probably some more stuff I'm gonna like. Oh shoot, I should have said that. But my I'm just very angry at the minute because I've recently you know removed this guy and uh, like I said he did say some very rude things to me. But um, it's over now. It's all good. Sadly, you know I didn't want to remove him, but 
what you're going to do. But anyway, guys, if you have any experiences of this, please let me know in the comments below of any sort of experiences you had with, you know, custom quests, hackers, or just stupid people who can't play the game like power savers, whatever you want to call. Take care of yourself, guys, and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.